it is time for a new tier list on the newest patch. And as always, I have two tier lists in this video, one for top and bot path and also one for center area. And as always, the top and bot path doesn't mean how strong those Pokemon are from level 1 to level 5. It's how I value this Pokemon once it's picked either on top or bot path throughout the entire game. So let's go ahead and start with the top and bot path tier list. Sendai's easily D tier, absolutely terrible Pokemon, would not recommend playing it ever. Even in center area, it's kind of risky right now. I think Garchomp, honestly, I think Garchomp is still quite underrated. I think to me, Garchomp is a solid A, and I think it will remain there for me as well. I've been, I've been placing Garchomp for a long time in A already, and he's quite, quite strong. Gengar, still pretty big Pokemon right now, but still a tiny bit better than D tier when it comes to top and bot path, but I wouldn't recommend playing it whatsoever. I think Cramorant is actually quite, quite decent again. After the bug fixes to Dive, where it did less damage, I think Cramorant is something you can 1% pick again and have a lot of success on. Night Tails, I feel like it's dropped a tiny bit. I'm going to put into B tier. Yes, I feel like Cramorant might actually be better overall. Um, the problem is that Night Tails struggles against the Mew and Inteleon meta, and those are currently taking over. It gets, just, it gets outranged like crazy. Um, so yeah. And there's also Mewtwo, which has Unstoppable, and it's quite, quite difficult to, for Night Tails to actually do a lot right now. I think really tough is a solid B tier. Nothing too crazy, nothing too bad either. It's just a fine Pokemon to play. Machamp, I usually have an A tier, but I'm not the biggest fan of it right now. I'm gonna drop it down to a B tier. I just, I really feel like it's kind of difficult to win games on it sometimes. It is good though, and you can make plays with it again. B tier means it's viable, and you can play it, and it's totally fine. C tier is borderline unplayable, and D is completely unplayable. And A is just very solid picks. And again, B doesn't mean those are bad. B doesn't stand for bad. A B just stands for, I don't know what it stands for, but it's, those are totally viable Pokemon. Um, Absol, I mean, I'd, I like that lane Absol again. I think it's actually quite, quite fine. I'm going to put it on into B tier as well. Slowbro, even after the nerfs, easily still either S or A plus tier. I mean, the Amnesia nerfs really didn't do all too much, right? So maybe even still S tier after all. Anyways, it's just a strong Pokemon. It's just like the point and click on Unite move just wins games way too easily. Mr. Mime, yeah, I think B is fine for Mr. Mime. Venusaur goes into A, T, A plus tier now on those bus with level 7. Very, very strong Pokemon. I'm not sure if it's S tier. It might be S tier in center area, but I think in path it's still pretty strong as well. Easily A plus, I would say. Lucario goes into A tier. Power Punch Close Combat is a very solid moveset currently as well. Kind of Flame, one of the best like lane speedsters if you want to pick a top or bot speedsters. I think it's quite, quite playable as well. Edigos got a nerf, but I think Edigos is still quite fine. But I'm actually going to drop it down to A tier. Just because of Point Puff getting a nerf, I think other healers should be stronger now than Adegos. Greninja, terrible. Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Krasse goes into A tier. Quite the solid underrated defender. Um, we even saw it in Grand Finals and tournaments now. So if you play defender, you should pick up Krasse 100%. Snorlax, also quite underestimated of a defender. It's quite bad in solo queue, but overall I think it's actually not too bad. But I think it's either between A or B tier. But I think just because of solo queue, I mean... I'm just going to put it into B tier. I think it's somewhere in, mi in the middle, of course. Um, but I think, you know, Snorlax is actually quite, quite good. I want to put Charizard. Um, I mean, Charizard with the level 7, actually, I feel like it's a huge game changer for top and bot path. I'm going to bump, bump it up to B tier. I think it, it's not really troll anymore. Is it amazing? No. Is it, you know, griefing? No, not really. Pikachu with Thunder Thunderbolt, I think, is easily either A or B tier. It's also quite, quite strong, I would say. I mean, you shouldn't be underestimating it. I think I'm going to put it into... I think BT is fair. I think BT is fine. It's also quite fine into Inteleon because of its long range. Gardevoir, also solid BT when it comes to drop and bot path. Zaora, falling a bit behind again, I think. Um, I don't know, Zaora just always gets buffs this way, but like it doesn't feel like it does all too much most of the time. It's kind of weird. Blissey, to me, is still easily a S tier. I mean, I don't know if I want to put healers into S tier, but I mean... Yeah, Blissey is very, very strong, and uh, yeah, Blissey is super, super strong. Nothing else to say, really. Blastoise, solid A tier, especially after the buffs, maybe even A plus tier. After getting his uh, level 7 evolutions, I think might be even A plus tier. Mamoswine, Lex a bit behind other defender Pokemon right now, goes into B tier. Sylveon, Lex behind other attacker, but I don't think it's C tier worthy. I think that's a bit too brutal. Greedent, also B tier. I think my B tier is going to fill up a lot. There's a lot of Pokemon who are just like... Not quite the best, but they're also not quite the worst. They're like right in the middle. Um, we have a lot of like middle ground Pokemon right now, I would say. And all of these are part of it. Decidueye as well. Like it's actually one of those Pokemon that gets to level 7 um, pretty easily. 
Um, so I kind of want to put it into BT actually when it comes to path as well. But knowing how like solo queue works and stuff, I think C tier is probably still better. I think Serena has fallen down again from B to C tier. I don't see Serena ever played a venue played. Like you don't really do too much with it. I'm not sure. But Serena really doesn't feel good right now whatsoever. Dragon Knight, I'm not going to put into D tier. It can lane. Um, it's not amazing though. It's not fully grief either. But yeah, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Trevenant, solid A tier. Very strong defender. Age Slash. Similar to Serena. Like I feel like there's a fallen off again. And there's like nothing you can do with these Pokemon. It just doesn't feel good. Um, but Aegislev, of course, can have good games as well. But on, on average, it, like, it doesn't really do all too much, I have to say. Hooper, easily S-tier Pokemon. Duraladon goes into B-tier. Um, if you want to pick a basic attack on lane, this is your go-to. Azumare, I mean, I think Azumare is A-tier. Maybe I'm overestimating a tiny bit, but I think Azumare is quite, quite strong and should not be underestimated. Espeon, solid B-tier. Maybe actually a still. I think people are still sleeping on Espeon again. I feel like Espeon is always a Pokemon that's actually quite, quite strong. Star Power, Psybeam is super, super annoying to play against. But it does get outranged by Mew and Inteleon. You know, I'm going to put Mew and Inteleon just in here already so people know like what we bear you off, right? Because against these two like attacker, it's very difficult to play these like lower range attacker, right? Like it's quite, quite difficult. In general, attacker are not too great right now. Just because these two are so OP. And other Pokemon are also much better. Defox also solid. I mean, I mean Defox is also quite quite fine. Man, there's a lot of um, maybe I have to make a B plus tier, honestly. Maybe maybe I have to make a B plus tier, because there's a lot of Pokemon in here right now. You know what? I, I think I'm gonna put another row up because there's just too many Pokemon in here. I think I need to like um the size up between, you know, I just have to put in one extra thing. Um let me change the colors as well, because uh, there's just too many. And I don't want my entire BT to be fed up. I want some to be maybe a bit better. I want to put Night Hits into there, Pikachu into there, Machamp into there, and Snorlax into there. And I think now it looks already much, much better. I think. You know, splitting them a bit more. Usually, I have like a very balanced thing, but right now I feel like there's so many Pokemon who are just like in the middle. Makes it quite difficult. Glaceon, even after the buffs, I feel like in Path is not all too amazing. Um, but I think it's... Actually, God of War's also B plus easily. God of War's B plus. But I think the rest is totally fine in B, by the looks of it. Yeah, I think that's totally fair. Um, so Glaceon, I mean, Glaceon is super annoying again. I think it. I think it's also goes into B plus tier. Buzzwall is A tier. Um, very very annoying to play against. Very very strong actually. It does struggle a bit as well sometimes, of course. But overall, Buzzwall is very hard to deal with. Trenata goes into C tier. I hate I hate having a lane Trenata. Like it only works with an XP share support that is strong. And if you don't have an XP share support or defender with you, it's absolutely terrible. But I'm going to put it into C tier. Dodrio is still one of the best um, speeders in the entire game. It's super frustrating to play against. Like, I personally, I hate playing against Dodrio. Good Dodrio players as well, absolutely pain to deal with. And it's super, super strong. Scizor, I mean, I feel like these, I mean, maybe I'm too harsh on these Pokemon, actually. You know what? Now that I have made this extra tier, I'm going to put them into maybe B tier. I guess they're, like, they're not griefing. Like, playing Aegislash, Serena, or Scizor is, like, not griefing. It is not great, but I wouldn't say, like, it's borderline bad, right? Like, I don't think I, don't think I can put them into the same tier as Gengar, right? Like, that just doesn't work. So, <laughs> you know what? Let's put them also into B tier if I do it like this. Clefable is also super, super strong. I think all these supports are super, super good. And uh, this one is also very important for certain Pokemon, like Mimikyu right now, that are very, very strong with gravity to counter them. Zoroark, I think, to me, is still solid A+. I know it's a Pokemon that requires a lot of skill, but once, you know, a player is good at Zoroark, it's absolutely pain. And it's very good counter to Inteleon and Mew as well. Sableye. I mean, I think Sableye is not as bad as people make it out to be. Like, I think it's actually quite the solid Pokemon. I know when people say that Sableye is this bad. Um, I think if you're a good Sableye player, you can make a lot of things work quite, quite easily. Wicked Blow, Shifu. And Path, I think, is absolutely terrible. I don't think I want to play this at all. I'm, of course, level 5 years strong, but you, will, you literally don't do anything throughout most of the time. Dragapult, easily D tier. Comfey, I think, also goes into S tier. I mean, these healers are, like, supports are so strong. Like, they really are so strong right now. Um, it's very difficult, but maybe all of them in S tier is a bit too much as well. You know, Comfey, I want to put into A plus tier. Um, maybe, maybe Cliffable as well, but yeah, I mean... You know what? I'm gonna I'm not gonna leave Hoop up here and put these into A plus tier. I think it looks I think it looks a bit more accurate. But I mean, all of these are super super strong Pokemon. Zashian is still even after the nerf stays in S tier. 
Gudra goes into B+. I think that's quite, quite fine. Lapras, I think, is still quite, quite good as well. What upwards Ice Beam does a lot. Goes into A, in my opinion. Chandelure down in... Uh, I mean, even after the buffs, it doesn't feel too amazing, but it for sure has potential. I think it might rise up in the future. Um, Flamethrower, I think, is quite good, but it takes a lot of skill as well, and as soon as the enemies have, like, melee Pokemon, it's quite difficult to play. Umbreon, A plus tier, maybe even S tier. It is so frustrating to play against Umbreon. Absolutely hate it. Leafeon, I'm gonna drop down to A tier, maybe even a bit lower, actually. I think it's... I think it lost a lot of value, and we bear... I don't even see Leafeons at all anymore um, in my games. So I'm gonna drop it down to B plus tier. Um, Mewtwo X, still S tier. Mewtwo Y, in path, I would say maybe A plus. Don't want to put into S tier when it comes to path. Maybe even a bit lower, maybe A tier. Um, then we are running onto Scyther, which I think is not great, but also not absolutely terrible either. Goes into the B tier. And then we have these left right here. So Shifu in path is not amazing, but it's just still a very broken Pokemon when it comes to surging strikes. That I think A tier is quite fair. But in general, of course, you want it to be in central area. Blaziken, in my opinion, is A+. One of the strongest all-rounders right now to play. Um, very good mid-game. Has very good objective secure. I mean, I'm a big fan of Blaziken, as you guys know. And Mimikyu. I don't know if I wouldn't put Mimikyu into S tier, but maybe. Like, it's it's super annoying to play against Mimikyu now. It is very, very frustrating. Um, play Rough Shadow Claw super good, but I, I do think it struggles in team fights. And in Path, you don't get as much experience as in Center Area. So... I think when it comes to Central Area, I'm going to drop into A plus tier now. This might change in the future. I'm not quite sure about it. But yeah, this is for the top and bot path tiers. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Um, let me know what you think, uh, you know, looks good, what looks bad. And uh, I will head towards the next tier list. Next. Now for the Central Area tier list, I think I'm going to leave it at these. I think I don't need a B plus in this one. Going to start off with Cinder Ace, which is not good right now. Like, I think Cinder Ace struggles a crazy amount. There's too much damage in the game for Sinais to even, like, auto-attack properly. Not a big fan. Garchomp. I think Garchomp's center area is actually quite underrated. I'm gonna put into A tier. Gengar is alright. Nothing too insane right now. Put into B tier. Cramorant as well again after the buffs. Solid A tier for me again. Sashi Dive. Like, Dive Air Sash is a very strong build that has a lot of damage and shouldn't be underestimated. Night hit center area shouldn't be played. It's more for fun. It can be fine, but I wouldn't recommend it. Much Hemp just doesn't have the late-game power to be a central area Pokemon right now. I think Absol goes up into A tier when it comes to central area. I think I like it a lot again. And uh, it shows very great potential. We have Mr. I mean, Mr. Mime shouldn't be a central area. I'm just going to put it in there just cause. Venusaur. I think Venusaur is currently a S tier central area Pokemon. You can go Paladin's Giga Drain, Solar Beam Giga Drain, and you can put in so much work. Greninja, I'm going to rate a bit higher than Cinder Ace, but I think Greninja still needs a few buffs. Like, I wouldn't mind if Greninja gets buffed. I think it deserves it. Charizard, solid A tier after the buffs as well. And um, Pikachu, don't center with it, please. Zaora, somewhere in B tier, very average, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's just very average. Nothing else to say. I think Gardevoir is quite solid. A tier has a lot of flexes, like good damage, has a game changing Unite move. Can recommend playing it. Blastoise in center area used to be good. Um, you might see it a bit again in the future now that he has, uh, gets earlier power spikes. But I don't think it matters all too much. I currently would not recommend playing Blastoise in the central area. Lucario well, is also pretty bad in central area. Wouldn't recommend. Town of Flames actually much, much better. Um, but it's still like it's still lacking something. Like, but I get frustrated when I play against Town of Flame. I feel frustrated because good Town of Flame players, they annoy you so much, it's very difficult to play against. But I don't think I can put it still higher than B tier. I'm a big fan of Dragon Knight. Um, but I don't know if B tier A like A tier is fair. Like I like Dragon Knight a lot. But this might be biased putting into A. But you know, a bit of bias. I mean, tier list is biased, right? And I think Dragon Knight is actually quite, quite solid. Um, with a lot of different builds you can play. Sylveon. Not great right now. Decidui. Actually, Spirit Checker is still absolutely strong. And something you can for sure consider. Serena and Sintra area. Just a no right now. Aegis Legend Center area. Just a complete no, I would say. Actually, maybe Sylveon is also complete known center area. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's something you want to do. Dralodon is always just it's, it's the Pokemon that always does something, but no one wants to play it because it's boring. That's just Dralodon. Azumare, I would not recommend in center area, but it's a strong Pokemon. So, but yes, I, I wouldn't recommend playing center area. Azumare, Delphox, also easily eight here. Does even anything into a plus? Maybe Glaceon. Glaceon goes back into a plus here. Um, Icy Winter strong. 
I think a spear is strong. You have two two very good builds that I think deserve to be there. I think Tyranitar actually goes into A plus tier. It's very underrated. Um, it's just it's similar to like like Dralodon. You just don't want to play it. Like it's kind of boring. It takes a lot of time to get you know going. But I do think it's quite quite good. And Sindra area right now. Buswell, you can play Sindra area, but it's not the late game carry. So wouldn't recommend necessarily. Mew is S tier in Sindra area. I mean, it didn't get nerfed in the latest patch. It's going to stay up there for sure. Dodrio easily A+. Plus. I don't think it's S tier, but I want to put it into A+. Plus. Scizor, please don't send area with it. It's absolutely terrible. I know someone in my comments is going to be like, but Chris, I have a 60% win rate with Scizor and send area on the way to master. Yeah, congratulations. Doesn't make it a better Pokemon. <laughs> Sorry. Espeon, Start Power, and Psybeam is actually quite good on send area. I do like it. I'm a fan of it still. And a lot of people are not really, but yeah, I think it's quite good. Vigblo, Shifu. It's not really it right now. It's strongest in team fights, but it still has good objective secure, so I'm going to put it into B tier. And then the other one goes, I think, still into either A plus or S tier. But I think currently, I don't know, does it go into S or A plus? I think A plus. It's still very strong, though, and we still see it a lot in tournaments being played, especially in the West. So it's still a Pokemon that's for sure very, very strong and uh, shouldn't be underestimated. Zorak and Central. Goes into A, just a good Pokemon. Dragapult goes into C next to Cinderace. It's it's gotten a bit better for Dragapult, but of course the game is still quite quite difficult. Zashian, S tier, Chandelure, probably B overheat. Um, as a central area Pokemon is actually quite good, and uh, it does it does struggle though into these Pokemon up here for sure a lot. Uh, Lapras center area, I mean, it's more like a meme, I would say. Um, wouldn't recommend it. As well. I mean, those can work in Central Area, but they are more memes than something I actually want to play. I do like Gudra Central Area though, but I, you know, I necessarily wouldn't recommend it. I think Leafrion has fallen off when it comes to Central Area. I think I would rather play it in Path than in Central Area because it also doesn't have late game carry potential. So you rather want to be in lane, get Solar Blade fast, and then try to last hit every Pokemon. Inteleon, also ST in Central Area. Mewtwo X is still S tier, and then Mewtwo Y. I don't know, I don't think Mewtwo Y is S tier in Central Area. I don't know. Actually, no, probably is, right? Like, Psy Strike or something into Unite Move is still probably S tier. It's just it's just such an unfun Pokemon, like, no one plays it, so it's very hard to judge its power level. Blaziken is a solid A tier Central Area Pokemon. Um, has good secure, as always, so has good early game. If you want to get to level 7, 8, very fast in Central Area, you can take over the game. Mimikyu Q goes into S tier. I think it has done it now with Shadow Sneak. Play rough or Shadow Sneak, uh, Shadow Claw. Super, super strong Pokemon. Especially in solo queue as well. Yeah, I don't think that needs much explanation. Um, Scyther, nothing too crazy. Scyther and Scizor just need a few buffs, I feel like, still. And the Muscarada, I think will summer be here. I do think it's going to be probably A plus or A tier, but of course I can't rate it right now. After test server games on 200 ping, I can't judge this Pokemon. But I think it's probably going to be somewhere here. I think it has a lot of potential. I could also be super wrong. And the Unite Move is kind of bad. It could also end up somewhere here. But that's for the next tier list. Hope you guys enjoyed today's tier list. Let me know in the comments again what you agree and what you disagree with. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!